All right, I'm just gonna show real quick what I've done to bypass the printed circuit board on a Max fan, Max Air Max fan, more like not the Max fan, it's the less fan because it sucks. Anyway, I'm gonna do, do this real quick and then I'll give some commentary at the end so you don't have to listen to me. But all you need is a, a switch and a DC motor speed controller. So, <clears throat> All I gotta do is turn it on. You wanna switch directions? Boom. Forget about it, eh? It's that easy. A nice satisfying click to turn off and get some lighting over here. Excuse the mess in my van. All right, so here's how you wire it up. Super easy. The power comes in to the speed controller and then goes from the speed controller to the switch power goes from the switch to the motor. It's that easy. It's it's just that simple. I drilled a hole here so that this can come through. Don't mount the switch where I did on this one because it's too close to the rim and it's hard to get the, uh, the screen on. On this one, I did it correctly and there's more room for the switch and the uh, the screen to fit on there. So that's it. That's, that's literally it. Boom, drill your hole into into the trim ring pop it in there boom boom i mean i don't know there's not much to this video but yeah now i'm going to complain about max fan and how crappy they are and poor quality parts and brushed motors i mean imagine if there was a brushless motor for this and also keep your shafts greased up or else this thing was always seized on for me but i i built a uh a special little on the a special little puller I'll show that to you guys real quick um, if you ever get your fan blade stuck on the shaft then this device is what will will pull it out so this goes on this gets mounted onto the, the nose of the shaft, set screws, keep it in place, and then you just take a, you just use a wrench to push this in and it'll it'll pull the, the blade off of the shaft. Wow, I'm so eloquent. I am speaking with maximum eloquence today. But either way, um, let's see, I can dig up the links and post them in the video so that you can see which parts I used. I ordered a couple different speed controllers with different amperage ratings to see, you know, which one would work best. And then I've got a backups, backups as well. If, if this circuit board ever fails, well then I've got backups, but I did spray this down with a acrylic conformal coating to help prevent um, moisture and oxidation since I live near the ocean. And um, I don't know what else, what else to say, but Hit me up with your comments, or if you want to complain about Max Fan, I love complaining about Max Fan, and I don't know why I didn't do this years ago. Um, I just kept ordering stupid PCBs from stupid Max Air, a company that rips you off of your hard-earned money. Somebody should come up with a nice, high-quality fan with brushed motors and this is such a stupid design why why does this blade have a ring around the outside that just adds so much extra weight and i don't know what it does for the airflow because like this little fan right here moves more air than the max fan does but um yeah i had a pcb failure on this bad boy already i had two of these cheap knockoff whatever amazon crap everything on amazon sucks but Anyway, I'm rambling. I'll let you guys go on about your day. Many blessings. One love.